Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Alright, so <laughs> I want to try this again. Um, this, I'm not going to say it was a fail because I'm not ready to um, give up on it just yet. Although I will say this, today I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to keep this as an altered book knowing that we're going to probably have issues like the wrinkly pages. Um, pretty much just because that's the way it's going to be. Uh, and then, you know, I'll, potentially spine issues because it's just, it's not as sturdy as I wish it was. Um, but before I give up completely, I want to thank Victoria. Um, thank you, Victoria, for commenting. <laughs> <laughs> you you've been so helpful. I think well we've been helping each other. Um uh, but thank you. Uh she suggested that I go watch Crafty Irina's um video about uh gluing in your altered book. Sorry, my eyes are just tired today. Uh gluing in your altered book and how she does it um because she has years and years of experience in doing these. And what she suggested, she actually did say, pull all your, tear all of your pages out and then go back and glue them. But what she said that she does is, um, she starts from the back, closes her book, lets it, you know, dry. And then she goes that direction because that's the natural way that your pages are going to fall. And so by me starting from this side, I guess, you know, I was doing the exact opposite of that. <laughs> um, so there is that. So uh, she also uses Elmer's glue. I ha I don't happen to have any Elmer's glue and I'm not really interested in going and buying any just for this project um, when I have plenty of other kinds of glue. I'm going to try this Barely Art uh, Precision Craft Glue. It is... I think part of her success is that Elmer's glue is still wet for a bit and it doesn't dry super fast. Um, this Barely Art glue is very similar to the Art Glitter glue. However, I have noticed that it does behave differently. This one doesn't dry quite as fast as the Art Glitter glue does. Um, the Art Glitter, if you've used it, you know this thing is pretty much instant and, um, and it's dry. Um, so, okay. I told you yesterday that what I was hearing and you know, you hear different things depending on who it is that you're watching. Um, so I guess take all of us with a grain of salt and do what works best for you. I guess maybe that's some good advice, <laughs> but I said yesterday that I heard people say to use matte gel medium or PVA glue and again, I think that's partly, I am i don't know for sure, but I'm guessing part of the um, reason that this might work a little bit better too is um, that it is, it's liquid and doesn't dry quite as quickly. Um, so I think I'm going to give this one a try. Um, I'm going to try doing her suggestion, which is... Okay, so hers, I'm gonna, I need to move this off to the side. I wanna do another one. And I just pulled out another Reader's Digest book from I think roughly the same time. Um, this one actually is in better shape. As you can see, the, the pages are much less yellow um, comparatively. So this one's definitely, I don't know if it was in a smoking, household if it maybe was in the sun I don't something this one's delicate <laughs> uh, but I do want to try this again and if it do you hear that that is the spine breaking yeah um so anyway I want to do this one on camera I want to try what I said yesterday where I would pull out my pages oh that's pretty pull out my pages um, and then glue and then continue to pull out my pages and do that and see how that works. Um, because, you know, I have actually, I have two boxes of Reader's Digest books that were actually given to me. 
which was amazing. Um, you know, and I've found others, you know, on my own, like this one, I think I found at a, um, thrift store. But anyway, I want to do that on camera tonight too. But first I want to start with her, her method, which she said, okay, so she glued, um, in the spine which that's not something I'm going to do, but she glued in the spine and then she did, uh, if she was doing a pocket, she wouldn't, um, glue here, but then she glued, uh, all three, all these three edges, including the spine, but not in the middle. So I think that's what I'm going to try. And then when she glued it down, she then closed the book like this, waited for a minute, and then opened it and did the next one. So I think that's what I'm going to try first. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully this will work a little bit better. Um, and to be honest with you, I've kind of resigned myself. Well, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say resigned. Um, because that means I'm giving up. But the more I thought about this book, the more I realized it really does. The spine is not great. Um... You know, it. I wouldn't mind having a thicker uh, spine anyway so that it has more room to grow. Um, I think in the end I am going to pull out this book block, rebuild my spine, keep the covers, and in the end I think I'm going to be happier in this particular case anyway. Um, like Victoria <laughs> commented today, she said, I think, I don't remember exactly what she said, but <laughs> my reply back was, yes, I think this, um, this book is just temperamental. She's just a little bit, she, she's, you know, she's like, don't, don't be messing with me anymore. I'm done. I want to rest. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, um, okay. Well, well, shoot, that's pretty nice, but that is the one that was glued, um, these two are already started. They already had started gluing. Oh my gosh. They, <laughs> I do speak English, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. So do you see this? This is a big old crack. I'm going to go ahead and glue it right here, but not in the spine, but just, just beyond the spine. So hopefully that will help to keep that from, um, breaking more. I don't know. I might, I might be changing my mind on this again. I guess it kind of depends on how this goes, but to be honest with you, I do think I want to, um, rebuild this spine anyway, because it just doesn't seem like it's going to last as long as I want it to. And I'm going to constantly be fighting it. And I just don't want to do that. <laughs> I have better things to do with my time. <laughs> so, okay. Now, did I just glue these two together? Ooh. What did I just do? Maybe I did. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. So this back page is now pretty thick. Um, oh, and I just messed it up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna undo that. I actually I think I'm gonna re-glue this. This is the other thing I I was using this glue to glue um, pages together in my December daily journal. And for the paper that was in that book, which is very different from this paper, um, it just wasn't holding for whatever reason. Like it just wasn't seeping into the paper and, you know, sticking. So, uh, I, I abandoned that glue and started using, um, art glitter glue, I think for that journal. So, okay. Well, crafty Irina knows what she's talking about because this is a whole lot better than it was yesterday. <laughs> I may still need to put some mask, actually I think I will. Put some masking tape in there. You know I'm doing this like I'm gonna keep the pages in here. 
but I really don't think I want to. <laughs> Who knows? I might make a liar out of myself. It's not going to be the first time. And I know for sure it won't be the last time. <laughs> okay. So now I just need to look for the pages that need to be glued together. Well, okay, so... I had five pages on the front and the back, so we just did three, we just glued three together, so then this will be four and five, which means then this is the end of my last grouping of pages, or should be. Did I not count right? Oh, okay, here we go. So then these, these two need to be glued. Okay, well that last one works. Let me go ahead and put I'm not putting it in the spine, but I'm putting it just to the side of the spine. And like I said in this book, I don't want any pockets. So I'm gluing all four edges, I guess. Okay, so I'll say one thing, I, oh, okay, I'm trying to figure out what I've been gluing and what I haven't, that's, okay, here's my, well, Crafty Irina, <laughs> aren't you just a smart little cookie? <laughs> okay, I do have a little bit of a... A, a crease here which I don't really like and I think that's because I put glue there so this time I'm not going to put glue in the spine area I'm just going to keep it I'm having a hard time finding the oh here we go okay I'm just going to do these three sides and then that's it I'm going to keep my hand on the page that I'm gluing down so I don't have to look for it every single time. Okay, well, oh, man, I wished I would have watched that video before last night. Okay, well, you know what? We live and we learn. <laughs> um, I swear, I don't think I've seen that video. And I guess maybe if I have, I surely forgot it. But this is certainly a whole lot better than what I was dealing with last night. Oh my gosh. It's like night and day. She's behaving. <laughs> okay. Well, that is really good to know. Okay. Now I guess I'm questioning if I want to really pull all these pages out or not. <laughs> do I waste the time to do all this and then still pull them out? I think I might. I really do. I think I might. I think I want to um, just turn this into a typical junk, junk journal with my own signatures um, and go from there. But let me go get... Okay, but... Okay, so lesson learned. We need to do it that way. Um, glue. I liked it. Yeah, I don't like having the glue there. I liked it better without having it there because there's already a ridge going to happen there because that's where there should be more pages and there's like a natural bend. Um, okay, this is like amazing. I can't even believe it. Well, now I want to just do altered books all night. <laughs> okay. So next time you guys see this one, um, I might film it. I don't know, but I'm actually going to gut this one and redo this spine. I don't want to keep this anyway. I'll keep these, 
um, these little decorative things here, or at least this one, maybe not this one. I don't care about the Reader's Digest logo, but, um, and I'll do my own signatures in this, but okay. So for experiment's sake, <laughs> let's try this idea that I had. It may not work and it's okay if it doesn't, because again, I, um, I don't really mind what happens to this book. Um, I tried to pick one that has similar issues as this one did with the um, spine kind of cracking. I don't know if you can kind of see there. Yeah, there's a big old crack starting there and there. It's kind of separating. That just happened be just, just tonight, I think, when I was trying to open it a little further. So, okay, so let me count. Actually, I'm going to count from the back. And add a bookmark. Um, and then that way I'll know where to stop. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I think this one will work better as an altered book, though, just in general, because these pages are so much more crisp and clean than the other one was. I mean, I love the yellowing of that other one, the pages, but... Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. I'm just going to do four in the front because I don't like this picture and I'm going to want to cover it anyway. So now I'm going to start ripping. There's something funky in there. Um, no, I need to keep this open. Okay, so now I'm going to start ripping eight pages out. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, funny. Two pages that I don't like. And then I'm going to add some glue. And close the book. Okay, so now these two are glued together. Um, I may go a little further out to the edge than I've been doing. Okay, so we've got these two. Now we need to save this page and pull out eight more pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Started to do that thing there. Glue. Um, I think I'm, I think this method may work pretty well too, from what I can tell already. Okay. Well, okay. So now what I'm noticing is <clears throat> as I want to tear out more pages and I pull the pa paper back this way, it's still not completely dry yet. So this may take longer, <laughs> but it might work as well. But no, I can see it's kind of starting to buckle here, which I don't want have happened. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop ripping, um, in this book and we'll just know that we need to alter the book the way that Crafty Irina and glue it, the way that Crafty Irina suggested, um, which is rip out your pages and then glue from the back, close your book and let it dry and then do the next one. All right. So, now that I've said that, I want to go get that other book. <laughs> oh, let's see, where did I put it? Okay. So, 
I'm sure you've all seen this other pastel version of the first book that I had there. Um, I don't know what the years are in these, <clears throat> but this was my alternate, alternate choice. Yeah, this one is actually worse. The spine is actually worse than that first book. Let me open this one and see what it sounds like. <clears throat> the papers look very much like um, this one. Very yellow. I have a feeling they might be very similar in the way that they act. But it feels sturdier than this one did when I opened it and just kind of flipped around. Um, and then these pages, oh boy, yeah, this spine is really not, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and add some Fabri-Tac to see if I can fix this. If I need to pull the spine off of this one too, I, I don't mind doing that because, like I said, I don't think I'd mind having kind of a bigger spine anyway <laughs> so it has more room to grow i don't know that that's gonna catch yeah this thing is totally falling apart okay well hmm. mm -hmm. and it's separating here too i think the spine of this one is gonna go so do I bother even altering this, knowing that? I don't think I... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... I'm going to hold off on this one. I'm going to alter this one. The same way that I altered that other one. And then... I may not use this one for that purpose, that same purpose, and that's okay. My bookmark go. Okay. So let's count five pages. One, two, three, four, five. I might do the pockets in this one, too. Three, four, five. Okay, and then we'll keep this page and start ripping out. Now, I'm not going to use glue for a while, so I guess this will be a second, third tutorial on how to do this. <laughs> okay, so this is the page that I'm keeping, and now I need to pull out eight pages. So one, two, Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Keep this one, keep this one. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and I can tell you as I'm pulling these out um, already, I know that the pages in this are less brittle even than that one was. So this is kind of re reassuring my my mind. This is kind of reassuring me that removing the spine on that one is the right thing to do. So okay, I think that was two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this and then I'll catch you, I'll catch back up with you at the end when I'm all, done, or just before I get to the end and then we will glue the pages starting from the back working our way forward um, and then we'll see how that turns out in the end sound good <laughs>
Okay guys, so I've got all the pages pulled out that I want to pull out. Um, as you can see, uh, as I started getting more into the middle of the book, it started acting more like that first book that we did that I did yesterday. Um, and then towards the end of the book, um, it wasn't even so like these pages, they weren't even really secured in there at all. So <laughs> they just pulled right out really, really easily. Oh no, sorry. It's these pages. Um, so yeah, about the last quarter of the book, maybe, um, the pages weren't even being held in there. <laughs> so that makes me a little nervous, but anyway, we'll go ahead and, um, now glue from the back to the front and I still have my bookmark in here. So I need to glue this page to this page. And we'll just um, do that. This video might be a lot of music this time, so, <laughs> and boring. Uh, a lot of fast forwarding, I think, but um, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll learn something here. Okay, so I'm back. Um, it's been a little while. I went ahead and finished gluing all the pages. I did decide to glue not in the spine, but close to the spine in all of these pages. And I'll tell you what, I'm wishing that I hadn't done that. Because to be honest with you, literally everything else on the page you wouldn't probably notice that these pages are glued together other than the fact that there's this little ridge right here. Um, and because we remove pages, there's going to be a little bit of a hump or bump there anyway. And I think I just kind of exacer exacerbated that by adding, I don't know how well you can see adding that glue there you can clearly see the line of glue so so there's that um right now i'm just kind of working the pages a little bit um kind of bending them you know i don't know if i should be doing this <laughs> necessarily but look at these pages i mean there's like no wavy lines there's nothing that you would see um from the glue the pages are completely flat so okay crafty Irina I should have just watched your videos and <laughs> that, that was the answer um, so the other thing I did while I was letting it dry of course you know I was pushing it down like this and so then there was this kind of thing happening like that and letting it dry like this it was gonna you know dry curved so I kind of straightened them out just a little bit I kind of manipulated them here and then I just let I just let the book stand like this um, while it dried now maybe not quite that low um, so that you know the pages weren't t uh, being bent by you know touching the table but um, Hopefully they were drying straighter down um, rather than being curved. So I don't know if that did anything or not. I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt anything. Uh, but yeah, so super happy uh, other than the fact that I have this weird line 
close to the spine that I just, I don't really care for. Um, otherwise, I think this is really, really amazing. Um, so, yeah, so I kind of wanted to get more towards the back. Okay, so they are kind of coming up a little bit on the corner now. But yeah, there's still this line of... And there there was paper residue in there too, so it may be partly that as well. But um, the pages aren't sitting quite as flat as I, I wanted. Uh, I may be... Just kind of... I may just kind of do this a bit and I am pushing pretty hard so um, and then towards the back back the yeah these pages were starting to come apart and now they're just completely coming apart so I will have to add yep this one totally came out so I will have to add some masking tape there to save these probably in the last probably I'm going to start on this page and add masking tape until the end um, uh, but I would I would call this much more of a success than what we had last night for sure um, so from now on I'm going to be gluing my uh, altered books, even if they have, oh, even if, even if they have pockets from the back first, that might just mess things up. <laughs> but again, if I have to pull this book, book block out, I'm not going to worry too much about that. That's, that's okay. So, all right, guys. Well, I think... Hopefully this was helpful. Let me go ahead and tape these in real quick and then we can kind of see how that looks. I'll come back and worry about the extra tape on the top later. <laughs> yeah, it's completely separated. <laughs> um, and I don't think that had anything to do really with my altering this book. I think they were going to be falling out anyway because when I got back th this far they were literally I, I wasn't even ripping at that point. I was just like lifting them out. <laughs> so Okay. Well Yep, this one needs some too. Well, I'm not doing a very good job of this, but that's how it, yeah, it's completely separated. That's funny. The trick to doing this is to get it on one edge, try and get your fingers down into the crack. And then glue the other, or glue, tape the other edge. I could swear I glued this together. Maybe I didn't, but let's go ahead and glue this one. I won't add any glue to the spine. <laughs> Okay, so so these will these will work. They'll be fine. Um, I mean, they'll be a little bit stiff and not as easy to turn the pages. But actually, these are laying flatter than a lot of the other spreads. But yeah, oh yeah, this is totally totally separated from the book, the rest of the book. Do you see that? <laughs> oh, well. Okay, well, this book block might come out too. And I kind of knew that might happen anyway. But 
We'll see. I might be able to save it. Um, I don't think I'll be using this one for this this journal anyway. And maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But um, while I was waiting for these pages to dry, I guess I might as well show you since we've already been kind of talking about my strong journal. I've got papers ready for um, creating my journal. So I need to remove all the edges and stuff. Uh, these were just a selection of copyright free images mixed with digital kits on the other side. Um, and then I've got a lot of different, like, you guys know who that's from. You've all seen it. Um, but yeah, I've got a good mixture of kind of nice neutral backgrounds, ledgers, uh, writing. These have all been tea dyed. Uh, these came, this came from a digital kit. Most of these came from a digital kit. Um, so this will be a fun journal to work in. That's for sure. And partly I kind of was wanting a journal that had like different sizes of pages too, because that's, I think, fun to journal with as well. So, um, yeah, See, these are all kind of like wallpaper designs and then some more random pages that I've gotten printed out. So I think this will be a fun journal for sure. Um, you've got some pages like this, another digital kit. So it'll be definitely a fun mixture of different styles for sure. Uh, all, all things that I love. So, yeah. And then we're back to these. I'm proud of my printer for... I think that's upside down. Yep, that looks better. <laughs> I'm proud of my printer for printing this so well. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so, all right guys. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I think we learned a lot today. Uh, thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Crafty Irina. <laughs> uh, going forward, let's all glue our pages from the back and work our way towards the front. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.